Hello everyone, it's indeed inspiring to see you back again in the Azure tutorial. And uh, here you can see we have uh, HTTPS portal.azure.com. You just need to click on it. If you have already entered your credentials, then it will directly log in. Or you will have to put your email ID and password and then you can log in. Let us now try to understand uh, this particular home page and uh, uh, navigate through that what are the different options we have got in this particular screen. First of all, here you can see where we have a menu. So we will click on it and it will be showing us the portal menu. The first menu is create a resource. So here you can click and it will navigate to basically creating a particular resource. Interaction required. So let me ignore it as of now and ignore here. So here you can create any resource like virtual machine, web app, SQL database, function app. So any of these uh, resources you can use. Now let me go back here. So if you want to go back to the same window which, is, which was the home window, you can simply click here on Microsoft Azure and it will take you back to the home window. Or you can click here on the menu also and click on home. That will also take you to the home window. So home window has got few services and few things to explore. For example, it is welcoming you, welcome to Azure. And uh, then it is asking you to start with Azure free trial, manage Azure Active Directory, access student benefits. Then some of the services are here, some of the resources. So basically none of the resources are listed as of now. Navigate tools and some useful links. So this is home page. And uh, again, uh, I'm clicking here on uh, the menu. Then we have a dashboard. So home page was showing us certain services, but if you click on dashboard, it is going to show you, here you can see, a personalized dashboard. So where again, you can create something, you can upload some resources, refresh this, make it full screen, and press escape to come back, edit, so if you click on edit, you can add or remove some components. For example, if you want to add this metrics chart, so I'll click on add and it is going to add it over here. You can see it has added the metrics chart. So you can customize it as per your own requirement. You can save it or basically you can cancel it. Then if you want to share, you can click on share and you can share it with somebody. Then next thing we have is export. You can export it in downloadable format. So if I export it, so here you can see it has been exported as JSON format. Then we have clone. You can make a clone of it. So here you can see clone. It is becoming a clone. So now new DASH BOARD new dashboard. So a clone has been created. So here you can see we have a new dashboard. We have my dashboard, we have a clone of my dashboard. So you can basically create a clone of it, a duplicate, a copy of it. Then next we have delete and then feedback. So this is what is again going to menu and dashboard. All services is going to list down all the services which it gives. So here you can see all the categories of the services, all favorites recent, so three topmost. And then you can see categories. So we have AI machine learning category, 23 services are there. Analytics, so here we have analytics services. Okay, then compute. So these are the compute services, containers, databases, DevOps, general, hybrid plus multi-cloud, then identity services, integration, internet of things, management and governance, migration, mixed reality. Then we have monitoring services, networking, security, storage, web and mobile. So these are the different services which you are able to get. So from menu, all services. Favorites is that particular section where uh, the services which are star marked basically get appear. So for example, if you go here, app service certificate, if you star mark it. So now this is star marked and uh, you can go here and under favorites, are you able to see app service certificates? Yes, app service certificates is visible over here. So this is how basically you'll be able to see uh, whatever favorites are there. Okay, so if you don't want uh, it to be star marked, so just click it back again. 
it will get removed. So this was about the menu. Let me hide the menu now. I already told that if you click on Microsoft Azure, it is going to bring you back to the home. This is the home page. And uh, then if you want to search some resource, service or any document, you can click here and you can search for it. Okay, anything you want to search. So VM, it brings virtual machines, Azure VMware work solutions. So anything you want to search, you can search from here. Then we have a console option here, so Cloud Shell, so uh, this is how the Cloud Shell will get opened up and uh, after that, let me close it back again, this is basically directories and subscriptions. Next option is for notifications and after notifications, we have next option for settings, portal settings for directories and sub subscriptions. Then we have support and troubleshooting where you can ask questions, find some document, read about it and get it solved. Next option is about your feedback. So you can provide a feedback over here. And here last option is about your own account. So from where you can go to your account and you can switch the directory. You can sign into a different account or sign out. Okay, if I sign out, it will come out of it. Okay, let me click here and sign out. Okay, so this was an introduction to just a walkthrough of uh, as soon as you log in, what screen do you get here. Now further we will see that we have so many services, we will explore one by one all of them and we will try to learn them. If you have any specific query about this particular video or maybe in future you want to listen, you may please write us back in the comment section or in any other form. Thanks for watching, please do like, subscribe and share.